Hi children, good morning. Welcome to today's English class. And we'll be learning fun with sentences. Okay. Uh, today we are going to learn a new topic of jumbled sentences. Let me explain it to you. Please turn to page 57 in your English grammar book. Okay. Have you all completed the other exercises that was given? Okay, good. Okay, now let's see. Uh, what are sentences? Here, playing with a ball. The sentence is not clear that who is playing with a ball. No complete idea. Now, now Neerak is playing with a ball. The sentence is clear and you know what we are talking about, isn't it? We are talking about a boy called Neeral and what he is doing. Okay. We are going to see jumbled sentences. Jumbled means words that are not in a proper manner or order. We did a similar exercise in your grammar book, right? In page number 27, where the letters were not in order, in alphabetical order, and you arrange them, isn't it? Then a set of words were given which were not in alphabetical order and you arrange that too. Similarly, here a group of words in a sentence, they are not arranged properly which we have to do it. Okay. For example, jumping a cat is. Do you get a clear idea of this sentence? No. The correct sentence is, a cat is jumping. Okay. Now the sentence is clear. Okay. And I have highlighted this in yellow. And this is in green. Why? Because a sentence has two parts. The naming part and a telling part. Okay. The naming part is, we come to know about who or what the sentence is about names someone or something okay and the telling part tells about the person animal or thing in the naming part what it is doing or what someone or something does so in this sentence the naming part is a cat and the jumping is a telling part okay you all understood have you all turned to page 57 children in your grammar book? Okay. The example sentences given there are Love's Cake Ali Chocolate. Okay. Let's find out. We need a name. Okay. Obviously. Let's go for Ali. So let's write Ali here. Ali loves and chocolate cake. So the naming part comes to Ali loves and the chocolate cake Tell something about what Ali loves. Okay. So that is the telling part. Next. Has a tail long a monkey. Okay. So the naming part is a monkey. And what they say about the monkey. It has a long tail. So that becomes a telling part. Okay. Let's do a few more sentences. Look at the heading. Arrange the a r r a n g arrange the jumbled jumbled means it's all mixed up okay it's not in a proper manner jumbled words in a meaningful sentence okay first one angry the lion was and i'll give you one more tip you can go for the capital letter so that word will come first okay here it is t and the word is the and we need a naming word. So, naming word is a name. Okay. So, lion. So, this will be the first two words. The lion. And obviously, what we are going to say about the lion was angry. So, they are going to be the telling word. So, the lion was the naming part. Was angry was the telling part. Let's go for the second sentence. Pretty a girl Tina is. I asked you to check for the capital letter. Okay, so this word and it's a name too, obviously. So this comes as a first word, Tina. Okay, Tina 
is a naming word here. What are we going to say about Tina? Tina is a pretty girl. Pretty means beautiful. So all these are telling part about Tina. Let's go for the next sentence. Drinks cat milk the. So what will be the first word here? The. Okay. And the name that you get is name of an animal. That's cat. Okay. So the cat will be the naming word. And what do they tell about the cat? The cat. What are the other two words left? Drinks milk. Okay. Now do you understand? Okay. Let's go for the next sentence. Grow the two the fish okay obviously the first will be the. the first word is going to be the and here you have two naming words crow or fish now you try to understand the sentence obviously a fish cannot take a crow so it's going to be the crow took the fish isn't it get the picture in your mind what would have happened okay so then it will be easy for you to frame the sentence so the crow is a naming part and took the fish is the telling part okay here goes the next sentence christ baby the 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 first word will be the here obviously and what, what would be the second word or the naming word here it's baby right okay so the baby is a naming word and what did the baby do the baby cries so cries is the telling part of what the baby does okay now you have a similar exercise in your grammar book and page 57 so now turn to page 57 in your grammar book and this is the heading given a r r a n g arrange these words properly to make sentences which make sense that means it should give meaning remember r-e-m-e-m-b-r -E -E remember to put a full stop okay if you add a full s-t-o-p stop or a question mark after each sentence and here you have another challenge that you have to find whether it's a question or a sentence okay Okay, let's go to the first one and you all know that the starting letter should be in caps and the ending there should be a full stop. Okay, let's go for the first sentence. T-E-N-N-I-S, tennis. Okay, it's a game. L-O-V-E-S, loves. V-A-R-U-N, Varun. Varun is the name of a person. Two, T-O-2, play, P-L-A-Y. I gave you a hint that the first letter of the word that comes first will always be in caps so let's go for the capital letter here v is in caps and once again it's a naming word so let's have this as a first word okay varun is the naming word and what they say about varun laos varun laos next will be two Loves to what? To play. So here, Varun is the naming part, and we tell about what Varun does. Okay, and Varun loves to play tennis is the telling part. Okay, let's go for the next sentence. Winter. Winter is the name of a season. Cold is it in? And obviously, we have to go for the capital letter and its word. So, it is IT8. So, that will be the first word here. It is cold in winter. And make sure you put a full stop at the end of the sentence. Okay. Let's go for the next one. High up kite the in sky the is flying so you understand that something is flying and you have two naming words that is sky and kite and you know the kite will be flying isn't it okay let's go for the first word obviously here t this is in capital and let's take this word as the first word the and we know the naming word 
should be the first part of the sentence and you have two naming words and we come to a conclusion that the kite will be the one to fly so we are taking kite the kite is flying so what the kite is doing it's flying next high up in the sky so when there are a lot of words in a sentence make sure you count the number of words or check whether all the words are there in the answer for example the is there kite is there is is there flying is there high is there up is there in the again sky okay make sure you write all the words in the answer if you want you can have a count and don't add any extra words okay let's do question number 11 the question is have do brother or you okay so here obviously the first part is do and the sentence will be do you have a brother this is the sentence okay and in this sentence do you find something is different yes here this is a question okay so you have to put a question mark do you have an answer for this do you have a brother you're going to give me an answer yes or no isn't it so if you're ready with an answer it means this is a question asked okay so you have a similar one that is seventh one okay to play are you going out going you out okay so so are you going out to play and here it's a question so only for seventh and eleventh you have to put a question mark the rest you can finish it with a full stop okay make sure the starting is in capital and the ending is with a full stop okay children that's all for today's class so i want you to complete page 57 and 58 okay and prepare for the exam well all the best okay